Oh, good morning. All right, got this Instacart. It's like 17 something. I think it was like 14 or 15 items, but it's for two customers. Come on. So you know either one person tipped decent or both of them didn't tip that good at all. But anyway, I don't care. It's been slow. I need to do something. I'm going shopping. Okay. First since the car dropped off, she freaking gave me some of her mail and asked if I'd stick it in the mailbox. That's easy. But both of these orders, like one was like 30 bucks, the other was like 40 bucks. So I don't see there being a good tip on either one of these. It just it doesn't seem possible. All right, I got another Instacart. It is, sorry, I was waiting for a car to go by, like 10 bucks, eight items, not even going a mile. I'm gonna walk it because uh yeah 10 bucks it's not really worth doing in my opinion Got another Instacart. It has been a few hours, just nothing good. But this one is like 37 bucks. Got to shop at Food Lion and Aldi. And each, it's like each customer got like 20 items, so it's not that bad. But the routing, as usual, is crap. Because the person who lives right next to Aldi has to wait for me to drive to the other person for the Food Lion. Oh, well, you know, they always do it ass backwards. All right, made it to Aldi. Time to shop for the second order. I don't have any quarters in my car, but I do have two dollars, so I can go get at least one quarter. And uh, yeah, that last order, man, there was a lot of text in and then the customer telling me to ring the bell so i told them that they are sending me to another store before i drop it off but it will be there at the time it says it's supposed to be both those instacarts off and they both tip pretty decent person at aldi tipped 16 bucks which is amazing and then the other person tipped 10 bucks which is not so amazing but it's the way she goes all right y'all so it's tuesday and the orders have just been garbage today so i did i'm taking this one it's like 12 bucks going a couple miles but it i don't know 12 bucks you know Better than no money. All right, so that customer complimented me on how fast I got them their order makes me think of the order I did before this one where I had to go to Food Lion and Aldi and it was not physically possible for me to get the first customer their order fast. So the way she goes. All right, y'all, I got this Instacart. It's 38 bucks, 27 items. It says it's only going two miles, but I accepted it so quick I didn't realize it's at the freaking another giant in Glen Burnie, so it's more like 10 miles, but I don't even care, I'm doing it. I need to make some money today. I've been editing like crazy, but no. Need to make this money. Go and shop.
I got another Instacart. It is 34 bucks going one mile. And I think I only need to shop for 20 items. Go and shop. So the drop off on that last Instacar, oh, that sucked. It's an apartment building and I couldn't see where the entrance was. I don't know, it's, it's weird. It's like a square and I ended up walking around the whole damn building because I didn't know that it was like, I thought it was on the back side, but it was on the other side. So that was fun and it is freaking cold out, but that's probably gonna do it for today because, uh, it's almost eight o'clock. I gotta go home, finish editing a video, and whatever, you know, some bull crap. All right, good morning. All right, so it is bright and early, 7.30 a.m. I got this Instacart, it was, what, 27 or 29 dollars. I think it was only it was less than 20 items but it's like 72 units because there's a lot of you know duplicates of things and this one's not even going a mile i've delivered to this person quite a few times so great way to start the day off <laughs> Yo, it's 24 degrees. It's too cold out here. Like I've been, we've been so lucky. It hasn't been cold like at all. Like 50, 40, 50 degrees has been like the average. It's been nice, but now it's actually getting cold. Anyway, that Instacart was really easy. Just uh, uh oh, hold on, I got a buckle. Yeah, so that Instacart was really easy, but. It was really heavy. Oh, I'm still asleep. I need my coffee. But yeah, the cashier at the uh, at the giant, she was saying that right up the road the other day, someone got shot at Wawa. Apparently, there's some kind of road rage altercation, and one dude got out and shot the other person. So. Next time you're getting mad behind the wheel, just think somebody might shoot you. Is it worth getting mad? Can you just slow down for a couple seconds and not get shot, you know, and you don't get mad either? It's like a win-win to me. If you get mad and you get shot, that's a bad day. If you don't get mad and you don't get shot, that's a good day. I just got this Instacart. It's like 43 bucks going a couple miles, 48 items. But I was looking at the two customers and one of them was one in the video that I did the whole week. There was a time when I couldn't drop off a delivery. My card got declined and then the order got canceled before I could even drop it off. And I ended up just keeping the food. Anyway, that customer is the same customer. So I'm going to cancel their order because I know I remember they only tipped like two bucks and I don't want to deal with all that again because I got an email saying that an order was marked as never delivered even though I talked to support and everything and like yeah so we're going to cancel the one and we'll see how much we get paid to just do the one which I believe will be most of the tip and it's most of the item so all good all right here's your pro tip when you're shopping for things that have multiple of like sizes and like you know it's packages that look the same what you want to do is you look for the price and the count that makes it way easier to find what you're looking for. All right, that Instacart went pretty smooth. Freaking so much stuff in the deli. The person gets like freaking 10 pounds of meat. And that person, the Instacart support 
they freaking got rid of that one chopper so quick. But yeah, it took them more than 20 minutes to cook, to cook, to cut all of the lunch meat. I shopped for everything in like 22 minutes and then I went back and she was still cutting the last pound of cheese. Ooh, that doesn't sound good, cutting the cheese. All right, next up we got this Instacart, $29.11, going eight miles, shopping for two customers, 18 items. All right, that Instacart order went really smooth, shopping wise. Anything I needed to substitute, the people had choices, which worked out perfect. I love it when that happens. But the thing that kind of sucks about this one is the rowdy. The first order drops off like half a mile from my house. And then the second order is like four miles away from my house. And only, probably only like two miles away from Giant. So it would just be better if I had control over this and I could go drop the one off first and then drop the one off next to my house second. So I could just be, you know, able to go home after that. Come on, let me do that Instacart. All right, the Instacart went perfect. Both the people almost tipped $10. That's like ideal situation. That's, I wish they all worked like that. All right, I got another Instacart. Like only, like basically when I was driving back from uh, dropping off that last one at the food line, it's like 26 bucks for 40 items. That part I don't like, but there's a $20 even tip on it. So that kind of, you know, that makes me feel like I'm going to get that money even if I have to refund some stuff. And it ain't going nowhere. It's literally going like half a mile or something, half a mile or a mile. Like, so I think this is a pretty good one to keep some money coming in. All right, that Instacart wasn't bad at all. And then they added one for like 10 bucks and it was for 10 items. I don't remember how far it was going, it was only a couple miles, but it had $7 in tips. So it's disrespectful that they're only trying to pay me $3 in base pay to go shopping. But I don't know, I'd rather make 36 bucks than 26 bucks. So I took it. All right, dropped the first Instacart off. I've delivered to that person a couple times and that was the first time they met me at the door. And she was asking me, saying how cold it is out and thanked me because she didn't have to get out in the cold to go shopping. But anyway, we got this next order to go drop off. And I just looked at the address on the second order and this is someone I deliver to all the time. Just really that base pay only being freaking $3, man. That's some, that's some bull. Because Instacart is charging that person the same amount of money as if, you know, I was doing their order alone. So Instacart's making out like a bandit here. Only give me $3 in base pay. Oh my goodness, y'all. My freaking total just jumped up. So that first customer that I did this morning, I've delivered to them a bunch. And they did, they took my tip away. They cut it in half one time, right? And I think I did something refunded, replaced something they didn't like because they gave me a bad rating. But I didn't block them because they've always tipped me very well. And anyway, today they took my tip from almost $23 to $48. So holy crap, I'm at $168 now at high noon. So that is so awesome. Heck yeah. I don't even know what to say, I'm hyped. I gotta ride my bike for an hour today. I can't wait to do that. I'm trying to edit like two videos a day. That way I can just get all the videos out for December as quick as possible. <clears throat> all right, so I got another Instacart. It is $20, not even going two miles. I think it was like 16 items, killer order. All right, so that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. If you have not, click on that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down there. Tune in at 9 p.m. any day during December for a new episode. Anyway, take it easy, y'all.